very good morning my friends how are you hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new live trading video from extreme trader this is Salah speaking today of course we're gonna do some live trading using the new one minute gold debt scalping strategy and of course I will do it again on the demo account because I need to explain a few things especially when we are going in loss the next video maybe will be the live account so again this video is going to be only on the demo account so right now we can see that I'm actually I'm actually very late uh, what I did here actually as you know the strategy rules as I have explained them in the last video that's we can see here on the one minute time frame on the gold that we had here a support level and as I said we need to mark the spikes here and then we had here a breakout candle a bullish breakout candle from this level now we can see that reversal happened right here and I was late because I was actually opening the recorder software so look at that the candle has reversed exactly on this level and reversed for 60 pips that is actually the reason why this strategy works only on gold the best because this one small reversal can give you really a lot of profits very quickly in just a few seconds so to be honest with you now I'm that I'm late now of course the first thing I did before recording was going to the four hour chart and it's obviously that right now I'm on a support level so I can look now for the buy opportunities because I'm expecting from the market to reverse from this uh, support level right here of course not to mention also that this support here is gonna keep its position as a support as it did here on the first attempt now let's go back to the one minute time frame now what we need to do is we need to look now for the next opportunities where we can start again buying the pair now let's look take take a deep look please what we can see here is we have this spike here uh, this tail here of the support level and the market is right now rising above this level meaning this is gonna be now the next level where I can start buying the gold again look at that fantastic just like that so now what I need to do is waiting for the reversal to continue uh, I think that now the pair is making one last uh, final test of this support before continuing its bullish momentum actually I don't want to zoom in because I don't want to be confused seeing any candles look at that the candle is approaching this level and the buy has been placed also again I just want to mention that I'm using IC markets broker and look at the spread for the gold it's very low it's almost less than one pip that's why I'm getting really good entries and if you really wish to, to try IC markets you can join it by clicking on the link uh, provided in the description below this video there is one link you can click on that one to open a new account in IC markets and give it a try really it's very helpful for me I mean I cannot use any other broker I cannot have uh, this uh, good spread any other any other place so look at that the candle right now actually I made my entry a little bit early uh, it should be right on this blue line here exactly like here uh, like, like this right here um, I'm, I was thinking to fix uh, my entry to make it perfect however I think we can expect from the pair to reverse exactly right on this level where I have placed my buy order look at that very small reversal here it can give me already eight pips look at that very simple and very quickly that's why I don't I don't like to see any price action I don't like to see the candles so zooming out of the chart it's giving you the best entries possible that you cannot really see when you are zooming in so by zooming in like that I don't really see it uh, to be honest with you but going out like that it's giving you much much better view to see the lines of the candles like that of the chart I mean sorry so we're just waiting for the candles uh, oh sorry for the uh, yeah for the candles to reverse I'm just waiting for them look at that right now is actually the best entry right here let's fix it right here exactly here is the best entry level because this is the about the, the absolute bottom level of the spike and look at that the candle now is going up the market is now going up giving us uh, pr the profits we are seeking of course don't ever do that enter two trades at the same time that's very risky I'm just doing it here for educational purposes and just to show you how to pick our trades or how to pick our entries at the best levels 
so I'm just actually waiting for the reversal to continue and I don't think it's worth the pause because it's just one minute candle so maybe in just few seconds this candle is gonna hit the take profit level um, just to save your time I'm gonna pause this video and I'll be back to you very shortly so let's take a look at this now we can see that the candle is going against my direction so that red now is going in loss however don't decide to close it yet in loss because we still have 16 seconds left for this candle's lifetime look at this the candle now is reversing and going up that's why I'm telling you never ever stop uh, sorry never ever set any stop loss for this kind of trading because as you can see the candle just went down here to create this long tail and right now it seems like it's gonna continue the bullish momentum don't decide anything until the candle actually closes as a bearish breakout candle and after that only you can close the trade with the loss don't get in rush don't don't start to lose your uh, calm don't uh, take very quick decisions to close the trade immediately when it's going in loss that is totally wrong always wait for the price action to continue its form to see the breakout candle and then you can actually close it with the loss so we are just gonna wait for this candle to reverse if it's gonna fail if it's gonna fail I will explain it in very simple words the reason why did this trade has failed anyway I will just wait and see what will gonna happen and I'll now uh, I will pause the video right now and I'll be back to you shortly and of course a quick candle in just few seconds it just went up like that and it's about to hit our tech profit level I believe it's gonna hit it anyway uh, let me just tell you something that this strategy is so this trade uh, it has a potential to fail the reason is I did not stick to one of the major strategy rules which is as I have explained before we enter only the first attempt of support or resistance now going back to the chart here we can see that this trade is about to hit the take profit level uh, what what we can see right here we had here the support right uh, that was not the first attempt of the support at all that was here the first attempt right here guys so this one I somehow ignored it and didn't see it therefore we can see that this is the second attempt of the trade or of, or of the support look at that now the candle is reversing because of my greediness actually the trade was in 10 pips of profit <laughs> sorry about that <laughs> The trade was in 10 pips of profit however I didn't see that coming actually I was looking at the first trade we entered anyway I'm gonna close them now both in profit because uh, they already have hit our target of 8 or 10 pips of profit so having the best entry level is very important we always have to mark for the support we have to mark the absolute lowest levels of the wicks or the tails and for the resistance of course the vice versa we need to highlight the absolute highest top level of the resistance in order to get the best entries so now what is my next opportunity actually right now there is nothing left uh, all I need to do is wait for any breakout to happen and then I'm gonna enter the first attempt of any support or resistance for example now if the candle is gonna continue to go more up like that what I will do is I'm gonna select this here I'm gonna look at the left, at the left right here we can see that we have here a support level and this support after the breakout is gonna be the first attempt of the support after the breakout so this support right here I will wait for the candles to reach the very same level of this support and as I said this support here is gonna keep its position as a support and I'm going to place my buy order right here on the very same level like that therefore we just need to wait and see what's gonna happen so far I can see that the market is now continuing to fall more down so let's continue analyzing together what we can see here is we had this uh, the absolute bottom level of the support level and I can see that if you remember at the very beginning of the video I have already told you about this level here and I have missed this entry so now what is the next what, where, where is my next trade if the candles continue to go more down it's very simple continue scrolling to the left let's scroll to the left and find the best level for the support look at that on the left I can see that I have here 
this support level so what I will do is I'm gonna drag this line here to the absolute lowest level of this support like this just like that now let's go back to the current price we can see that here is my good entry now if the candle is gonna continue falling more down I'm gonna place my buy order right here and keep the trade running for almost uh, 10 to 12 pips of profit again what I did was simply because I have missed this opportunity here on this support and as per the strategy we enter only the first attempt of support and resistance we never enter the second attempt never ever enter the second attempt if you want to have good profits using using this strategy so going to the left right now we can see that this uh, this opportunity here of this support is wasted it's gone because it has already became now the support it has already become a support here so I cannot use it anymore since I, I want to enter the first attempt so going to the left I can see where is the next support level below this level and of course it is right here therefore this is where I'm going to place my next trade I will get rid of the uh, first line just like that so all I need to do now is waiting so I will now pause this video and I'll be back to you once I enter the next trade so let me tell you what just happened I need to place the buy order right now okay sorry about that let me just tell you what happened here um, the candle actually has continued to go more up and what happened here is we had here a breakout candle look at that the candle has actually broken out from this resistance this bullish candle and looking at the left right now we can see that we have the good support level right here exactly right here as I mentioned to you earlier this is the support we are going to use if we saw any breakout candle from this level so then we will wait for the market to go down a little bit retesting this uh, support level here so this support is gonna keep its position as a support that is exactly what happened we can see that the market has went up here and and I have placed my buy order right on the very same level of the previous support so now that red is going in profit so far I believe the market is gonna continue rising so let's see where I can where I can set my take profit level as I mentioned take profit can be set in in any way between 10 uh, between 8 to 12 pips it's really up to you however I I selected 10 pips for this trade because I think the market is gonna continue the rise it's actually a very good way to, to sculpt the gold since it's actually giving a lot of profits from one candle you can get really very good profits however this kind of scalping is very fast I mean you can never turn your eyes away from the screen you always have to keep looking at the screen and you can get out in profit or loss very very quickly that's why I don't use any other pair with this uh, strategy it works only with the gold because it's moving very fast and one small candle can give us really so much profit so let me now pause this video I think it's gonna take some time um, actually the perfect time to sculpt the gold is after 30 minutes from right from this uh, from the from the current time uh, however I just decided to start recording because I just want to finish this this video and hopefully post it by Friday so I think the candle is going up in the take profit level however just to save your time I will pause the video and I'll be back to you shortly and the take profit has been hidden and the target has been reached the candle has reached our target so now what we can do is just simply wait for the next opportunity to start buying the gold again so right now there is not much setups left because I have used the first attempt of all these supports level uh, support, sorry support levels however I will pause the video right now again and I'll be back to you shortly once we have any better setups available so let me take you through what just happened here actually I was away from my computer and let me just show you this if you remember a few minutes ago I told you that if we look at the left we can see that we are having here also a very strong support level and we can wait for the candles to actually fall down to reach this support level then I can place another buy order because this support level has become after this breakout candle here a new support and this is exactly what happened right here 
check this out actually I have missed entering this trade we can see that here is exactly where I said that we can place the buy order that happened indeed and the candles has went up here for almost 25 pips now what's happening next is we had here another attempt of the support and we can see that the market is flying up of course that's because we are, on, uh, we are right now on a support level as I told you earlier so now what is the next move well we are having here a resistance level which has been breaking out look at that this resistance here in the middle sorry right here in the middle has been breaking out now we need to wait for the right moment to start to place another buy order and what I'm going to do is I'm gonna select this support right here I'm gonna place my support line right on this one here like that at the lowest bottom uh, level of the support and I'm gonna place the buy order right away as I said because we had here a bullish breakout candle from this resistance therefore I placed my buy order right on this support level right here and this one as well so these support levels are going to keep their positions as a support we can see that after uh, after placing the trade we can now zoom in we can zoom in just to look carefully at the breakout candles as I mentioned before if we see a breakout a bearish breakout candle closes below the support level then I'm going to close this trade with the loss so far the candles is still going up so far I'm in profit let me set my take profit to be at 10 pips like that this is 10 pips yeah, almost 9 pips all right should be fine uh, okay that's 10 pips so we can aim 10 pips from the gold and we can see how the candle is moving very fast because as I said this support level is keeping its position as a support also this one here as well um, until this actually it will finish uh, very soon I think it's gonna hit the take profit level and come on oh my god it just it touched it so I'm just gonna take it and close this trade uh, let me just uh, show you something here very interesting as you remember from the rules I said that we always need to look only for the first attempt when the support becomes a resistance if you remember my friends I explained that earlier that we are going to <clears throat> wait for uh, resistance to be breaking out then this uh, previous resistance is gonna be a new support level and I'm going to place the new buy order right here well that is not exactly the case here I mean let's check it out together um, for example uh, actually I saw it somewhere uh, just need to be um, I just saw it somewhere and okay yes yeah, here look at that let's take a look at this example here so since we are actually on a support level on the four hour chart we can see that we had here a previous resistance so as per the strategy we can wait for the candles to go up here to break out from the resistance then we are going to place the buy order exactly right here because this resistance is gonna be the new support however that did not happen and the candles just kept going more down why why did the strategy fail here there is a good reason for that if you look at the left you don't see any support on this level it's very important that we have to see the support level on the left and mark our entry level to be exactly right on the support we don't look at the resistance if we look if we want to place buy order buy order meaning we need to look at the left to find a previous support if we want to place sell order we need to look at the left to find the previous resistance now looking at the left where is the support we are having here a resistance and here we have a resistance but where is the support there is no support here the support is actually laying right here meaning that the right place to to draw your uh, support line is gonna be at the absolute bottom level of the support and by the way guys please focus here I'm looking here so after drawing my line right on this level look at the reversal where it happened check out this support level has kept its position as a support right here now you might say but Salah it failed because the market continued to fall more down well please open your eyes carefully look at that I don't want to zoom in I wanted to keep uh, zoomed out like that look at that look carefully look here we can see that the market 
has actually reversed after touching the very same level of the support for 17 for almost 16 pips before it finally fall down if you are following the strategy rules of accepting only between 8 to 12 pips only as a profit you would have ended this trade in profit that's the whole point of accepting or actually taking only the first attempt of any support or resistance this is the golden rule this is the most important one actually all of these other rules are important but this one is the golden rule for this strategy we enter only the first attempt of a support at the resistance and that is exactly what i did here i entered only the first attempt because okay let me zoom in then just to make sure it's clear for you guys i really don't want to zoom in this is the one we're talking about this is the absolute bottom of the support and this is the reversal which has happened exactly right on this level and then after that so we are having here a support number one then the support number two has failed therefore you have to accept only taking the uh, first attempt of any support and resistance so i think this was very clear and enough uh, live trading session of uh, scalping using this strategy the next live trade live trading video next week is gonna be on the live account and i'm going to do something very unique actually uh, just to help uh, the newbies on my on my channel i'm going to do live trading on 50 dollars account only and let's see together how far i can take this 50 dollars uh, with the scalping the gold so until then uh, i hope that was informative to you and i would like to thank you for watching